gold medal winner at the Rio Olympics discus thrower Sandra Perković, as well as Shime Fantela and Igor Marinić, who won the gold in the men's 470 sailing event, and Tonči Stipanović, who won the silver in the laser race, arrived at the Zagreb airport earlier today, welcomed by joyous well-wishers and sports officials. Croatia has so far managed to win eight medals. Dense traffic has been reported on all Croatian roads leading to and from the coast, although it is somewhat lighter than it was in the morning and the afternoon. A three-kilometer long queue has formed on the entrance at Zagreb Lučko, while traffic is flowing smoothly in the opposite direction. In other news, following the arrest of Croatian national Zdravko Hlobik from Osijek on the border with Serbia two days ago in a case of mistaken identity due to Serbian authorities mistaking him for his namesake from Jelisavac near Nasice, who they suspect of terrorism during the homeland war, Croatian Foreign Minister Miro Kovac has reacted by saying that Croatia was ready to introduce countermeasures. Kovac added that Croatia will not take such provocations lightly, saying that by acting in this manner, Serbia will never enter the EU. Meanwhile, Serbian Prime Minister Aleksandar Vucic said speaking at a ceremony in Donja Gradina in Bosnia and Herzegovina remembering World War II victims of the Jasenovac prison camp in Lonja Valley in Croatia that Croatia was the scene of the resurgence of the Ustashi far-right ideology, adding that Serbia will never allow for another Jasenovac to happen. In response to this forum, Minister Miro Kovac described Vucic's words as inflammatory and resembling remarks he'd made in the 1990s when Croatia became the victim of greater Serbian aggression. And on a different note, although it will be months before a final decision on registration is made, the pub produced sea salt and the meat from the Tibuca Salted pork meat preserved in lard are a step closer to becoming protected on the EU market. This comes after the Agriculture Ministry issued them with the National Originality Designation Protection Stamp. Turning to sports, at the Rio Olympics, Croatia's super heavyweight boxer Filip Hrgovic has lost to world champion Francis Turner Joka and will be returning home with a bronze medal, this being Croatia's eighth medal so far and the first boxer boxing medal at the Olympics for Croatia since it gained independence. High jumper Blanka Vlasic is to take part in the high jump finals tonight, while the Croatian water polo squad will be defending their Olympic gold against world champion Serbia this evening. And the weather, changeable and prevalently cloudy on Sunday with rain in the morning, afternoon and evening when there may be heavy showers. It will be sunny for the most part in the east and the south with a gradual cloud increase and showers in the evening and overnight. Light to moderate southwesterly and westerly winds along the coast. The northern Adriatic expecting Bora that will gain force to gale force overnight and spread to the central Adriatic. Morning temperatures are between 14 and 19 degrees up to 24 along the coast. Top temperatures between 25 and 30 degrees, somewhat lower in the west and at higher elevations. Cloud and intermittent rain expected at the start of next week, particularly in the east where it will linger into Tuesday. It will be relatively windy with moderate to strong northeasterly and northwesterly winds. It will become cooler. Rain and thunder expected late on Sunday and on Monday morning across the Adriatic. It will clear up in the second half of the day when it will become mostly sunny but blustery with Bora to spread to the whole of the coast as of Monday, gaining strength in places to gale force.